<sighs> this software and computer crashed on me twice today. Okay, so I'm a little bit bombed. So, so I, I, yeah, I, I lost like 45 minutes of footage. Uh, I have to. There are a couple of things I said in the lost 45 minutes that is worth mentioning. Okay, so first, yeah, the conjecture we had here yesterday. Yeah, I dis disproved it with one counter example. So that's false equation. Second thing, yeah, this British hacker, I continue to read about him, okay? It's an interesting, his interesting story, all right? So he's, he used to be a hacker. Later on, he joined good side of that world, all right? He worked for the cyber security company later on, okay? So, yeah, that was an interesting story, okay? Whatever. Yeah, I'm a little bit bummed because this computer and software crashed on me twice. I lost 45 minutes of footage, all right, so. Okay, let's generalize this from this uh, phenomenon, okay? Uh, it's this, okay? In a given line, what you have is pi, for example, here, the last line, okay? Pi C uh, Well, we're gonna have to define some subroutine, okay? So, first of all, let's say, think about this particular partition, okay? So, the I really don't like it when I have to repeat myself because this computer or software crashed. It may crash again, okay? Because this computer just got a Windows updates, so it's very busy doing all these updates now. So, it may crash one more time. Uh, it's it's really annoying and so the right subscript is just partition okay one 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 or one four two three one one three one two two one 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 two this right subscript of this combination binomial coefficient okay so it constitutes the partition of five all right so we're gonna have to come up with a subroutine okay um, Uh, some function, right? You apply <coughs> some partition. We call it just pi for partition, okay? No. Let's do step by step. 
some yeah some partition pi. For example, we call it write subscript function. Okay. This combination symbol and some partition let's say one comma one comma three okay and this give us c1 comma c2 comma c3 just applying this partition or a vector to this and assign this element of this vector one one three to the right subscript of this character C. Okay? Now, left of C, so you 1, 2, 3, right? No, I'm sorry, 1, 1, 3. One one three. Uh, that's from here. The th fourth row. One one three, right? And we apply to the left subscript of uh, five, comma four, comma three. And that becomes five C, comma four C, comma three C. Okay. Yeah. Let's say this is like CCC, okay? So CCC, CCC, all right? Yeah. To make it easier, all right? So CCC, we just call it CC C cube, okay? All right. All right. So how do you get five, four, three? Uh, it's this. It's um, so you have two vectors, okay? Partition vector and the uh, complement vector, okay? Partition vector is let's say one more example: one comma one comma one comma two. This row, all right? There's a partition vector. We call it pi. Pi for partition, okay? Now, then pi complement vector is this, right? So, with complement vector, we call it k, all right? k for complement. Complement of pi of 5 is equal to 5 comma. Then you subtract the first element, then second element, then third element, okay? So, 4, 3, 2. Okay? So, yeah. So, that's how we do it. So, we are almost there. Okay. How about this uh, denominator side, like factorial? Yeah, that's a lot easier. Okay, so it's just uh, given this partition, you count the number of ones, count the number of twos, threes, fours, fives. Okay, and then you do the factorial and you multiply with 